Hey folks, welcome back to another edition of Viview with the Tanners. I'm Jim Tanner, and today we're going to be talking about replacing your slide skis. These are the plastic slide skis that are on some of these flush mount RVs today, and they start to fail. And they can have like water can penetrate. So we've got a professional here, and he's going to show us and tell us about the slide skis and exactly why you need to make that fix. All right, my name is Mitch Drake. Uh, on the Alliance side, I'm known as Mitch R. That's an alias name that I use, and I believe that. I probably was the original person who put stainless steel slide skis on my coach about two and a half years ago. Uh, these are something that have to be custom manufactured, but there is a manufacturer in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas called RGV Welding and Fabricators uh, that will manufacture these skis and ship them directly to you. Uh, the information with detailed instructions on how to install the uh, skis and the address of the manufacturer is in the files section of the Alliance group, the Alliance owners, Alliance full-timers, Alliance mods and upgrades, and Alliance issues and fixes page is all the information on how to order them and how to install them. Uh, Jim is making this video because there's been a lot of videos out there where people have installed the stainless steel slide skis and a couple of the videos have skipped a few steps. Uh, these uh, slide skis are made out of a thin plastic and uh, they have a tendency with the weight of the slide to wear out, to crack, the accordion up. Uh, it doesn't happen on all the, uh, all, the, all the models. A lot of people don't have any problems, but those that do, that usually repeats over and over again. So this is more of a permanent fix. I've had them on my RV for uh, two and a half years with no issues. Uh, they haven't failed, and uh, uh, we're going to talk about the proper procedure of what's worked for me for two and a half years, which I believe that's going to be about the longest anybody's had them on an <laughs> RV. Awesome. Hey, he rattled off a bunch of different sites on where to get this information, so I'll put the links to all those down below. You don't have to kind of like type it out as he said it. Next, what we're going to do is he's going to actually replace or pull off one of the plastic slides. I'll show you how that's going to happen. Skis. Skis, yeah. thank you. And then he's going to put the aluminum or steel? Stainless steel. Stainless steel ski in there. And we'll show you the how he's doing that. We'll get right back to you. That step or do you not want us to do You got something going on over here? We're just taking the screws out of the, yeah, take this uh, pinch bar. Trim. So there's the screws that are out here. Okay. And then there's a screw inside typically. So we have to do is take these out. So he is no that one is bad. That one is broke. Where? Oh yeah, that was that was horrible. That's so that pinch bar along there extends inside in order to get this to that screw. One. We take these off out here, and then we take the slide in a little bit. Oh sure. Enough to get to it. And okay. it's it's uh it's it can be tricky to get to because it's kind of in behind that uh, okay. piece of uh, not Yeah, I want to make sure everybody's clear. Yeah. All the way, we'll just get it, get the screw out. There, you got it now. Right. We'll do this one too. Yeah. This is the screw here, clear on the end, that uh, you can't get to from the outside, so we, that's why we have to run the slide in, partially at least, and then remove that screw and this comes out. Then on yeah, some well. models, on some coaches, the skis actually have a little Phillips screw. There's a couple of them, maybe even a couple of them. In Keith's case, his had, or mine had staples. That was on the ski. On the ski that yeah. holds the ski in, so it just all depends. I mean, there's no perfect answer for each one. Maybe. All right, we're clear over here with the jacket up. How about over there, Ed? Yep. All right. Right there. Then you really got to pick her up. The slide's got to come out. We got to put But then what I did is I put, the, when we got all done, I put the black screw back up there. Put more? Hang on. Put more in the top. How much are you doing here? Anything coming Putting down. Putting shims in. 
This is a safety factor, which I've seen skipped on a lot of the videos. Yeah, more than better. Our hands are going to be right in between here in the frame, working on this. And I've seen these videos they put out putting these stainless skis in. Now these stainless ski skis need a little persuasion to get back behind the the clamp here and stuff. So I've actually had the roller jack come out on on me uh, when I put these in. But because I've had the shims there, I still have all my fingers. <laughs> and if you if you if those thing if this slide this slide's 1,600 pounds, or the other one's 1,600 pounds, and you, it'll take your fingertips right off if you don't put shims in here. And that's really uh, that's a, that's a really important step that I've seen people skip on these videos before, not shimming the the putting the shims in there. Where's the shims? You just threw them up in there. Oh, I see now. Thank you. That's how easy it crutches up. <laughs> the shims you got in there, Mitch, are like one by or something? Uh, one by twos. Shoot. Oh, way to go. Part of it's still in there. Yeah, I got, that means we got to measure it. Maybe not. That was ready to go. We're going to have to measure that one. Okay, that'd give me about, uh, that'll give me about uh, three quarters of an inch clamped into the uh, side there. So that's a good measurement. So what he's doing right here is he's measuring from the inside uh -huh. of the RV with that tape measure. 42, all right, cool. So he knows cool. the total length of the ski that he needs to put on. So right behind me, what they did here, you put that knife in there and unscrew two of the screws in order to move that support away so the new slide can go well, in. We've got a measurement on this 42 inches, which again, if you get the ski out in one piece, which doesn't happen but maybe 50% of the time if the skis are bad, you can just lay the other ski in there and you've got the exact length of measurement. You don't have to have a tape measure. And the Sharpie, Chris, what did you do with that? So those of you without an ankle grinder, you're going to have a choice to buy yourself a new tool. Wait till you see what happens next. Save yourself a lot of time and effort and use a grinder with a cutoff wheel. I have seen, again, videos of people doing this with, with shears, and they get about this far, it bends the metal, and then they have to use a hacksaw to cut it the, the rest of the way. That hacksaw, and, and the video always cuts away then, because I'll guarantee you that hacksaw part of it's probably taken them about 30 minutes. So. Here's another thing you don't ever want to do. Ask me how I know. Do not grab that thing when you're done. <laughs> Just once. Yeah, you don't want to do it once. <laughs> Melt your man too. <laughs> this part of the ski for about right this distance right here, that never enters the coach. That never gets past the frame. So we do a secure point here uh, at the end, keeps the ski from, gives it a little bit more stability. And then I want to take and mark four holes here. We'll start up about here, past, uh, just past the break, which will have to be screwed in from the inside. And then three more holes down here. And those, those will screw into the, to the uh, plywood floor. And of course, before that, we're gonna put, uh, uh, MS polymer top on it, and that'll, that'll seal up pretty tight where it's not going to come loose. Also, these drill bits you do this with, 
get yourself some decent titanium bit drill bits. If you try to use regular metal bits on this, you'll get about one ski done per bit. They're going to break. Go ahead and mark it. Tell me. Go ahead and mark those. Now. Tell me what you think. What size bit you using for the video? Uh, I'll tell you what size bit. It's just a little bit bigger than those screws. That are going to be <laughs> That's the technical term? <laughs> compare. You don't have to know the numbers. Just compare. I told you I wasn't going to be a very good narrator here. <laughs> the paper comes out. Okay. Hang on. Are you, uh, hang on, we got, we got something that's binding so, up on. I know we do. Um, what he'll do is, is put a ski in there. Oh, there we go. There's the thickness of the Asdale here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go all the way to the end of this right. plywood. Yep. So, you so when I get to this end of the plywood, it's just, it's not flat. Yeah. So you're going to fill that back. Fill it. You don't have to because it's on the inside of the coach. Okay. It'll never see the weather. So you just kind of, it'll just kind of snug it up and it'll just... You just snug it up. Flat. You don't have, you don't put it flat. You just get it so it snugs up so that it's not going to move. Yeah, and then the slide's going to come up. It comes all the way to the edge here. On the outside of this. Mm -hmm. And then over to here, there'll be a little gap. Yep. But there's no problem. You're just going to put a wood screw into there. Wood screw right there just to yeah. secure it. Okay, gotcha. This is basically like glue. Yeah. And I'm not shy about how much I put here at all. About the first time you roll that ski in, it's going to spread out, oh, yeah. and it'll cure. And I take and I run some of it on the vertical edge here. And when we put those screws in, it'll draw right up, and you got a watertight seal. And then when we're done, I'll get underneath the slide along this underneath to seal it and uh, another bead on the top here. You're half an inch low to the screws. No, not to the screws. Oh, okay. No, right here. There. You got there it. There you go. You got it. What was stopping it? Rich? All right, you're there. It was hitting the vertical coming up. All right, Ed. Little frame piece there. Oh, oh. Yeah, the vertical comes exactly. up. Screw bed. Okay. You see how that draw drew up really good with the <coughs> screws? Did you get the two of them, Ed? Yeah. Yeah, he's got them. He's doing the second one now. I gotta do the ones underneath for okay. okay. And you don't draw that all the way in. No. You leave that gap yep. on it. I think you're under. No, it went in. You did? Okay. I should say somebody. <laughs> I didn't say it was talent. Someone with better eyes than me knows there's a gap there to begin with. Well, you're on the side of the Hey guys, so we're going to close out this video. Uh, what you saw in that, we did an opening and then Mitch did the actual work with another guy. Um, there was a lot of piecemeal things going on back and forth, but you kind of got the gist of what needs to be done. There's another guy that did a video too. You, you saw one part where I kind of walked in front of his line, the guy Rich, I'll put a link to his video as well. But I wanted to get this video out and let you guys understand how to do that slide ski repair on these. Um, these slide outs that actually go down all the way, they're flush. On the old school ski, uh, old school slides, they came up and then you had that lip. But on these new ones, they go flush. So th that's where those uh, slide skis come into play. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll probably put you in touch with Mitch because he's the expert. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Have a great day.
So if you haven't done so yet, please remember to hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that it reminds you when we post new videos. <laughs> <laughs>